wildfire ever seen in California is still threatening more than 15,000 homes, businesses, and buildings north of Sacramento. Yeah, the so-called campfire is now blamed for at least 42 deaths. Chris Martinez reports. Coroner search teams are picking through the burnt out rubble in Northern California looking for victims. With more than 200 people still missing, the death toll is expected to rise. We've got so many people missing of our neighbors. Our neighbors are gone. Crews are using power tools and cadaver dogs in the hardest hit areas. I want to recover as many remains as we possibly can as soon as we possibly can because I understand the toll that it takes on people. The campfire has burned at least 125,000 acres and destroyed more than 7,000 structures. It's one of three major wildfires burning in the state. Here in Southern California, in neighborhoods where the Woolsey fire has already hit, some evacuation orders remain in place. Officials worry the gusty Santa Ana winds could kickstart the flames. West of Los Angeles, the wildfire has already destroyed more than 400 buildings and burned an area bigger than Detroit. Paul Rasmussen's home is still standing thanks to his neighbors. They came over here with uh, water buckets and put out fires and um, just very, very grateful to them. And even with the fire still burning, a sign of progress in Malibu, utility crews have begun repairing damaged power lines. Chris Martinez, CBS News, Calabasas, California. President Trump has now approved an emergency disaster declaration making federal resources available to affected communities. Well, next on 7 News at Noon.